Yechezkeel, Ezekiel 30. The word of Yahuwah came again unto me, saying, Son of Adam, prophesy and say, Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, Howl ye, woe worth the day. For the day is near, even the day of Yahuwah is near. A cloudy day, it shall be the time of the heathen, and the sword shall come upon Mitzrayim, and great pain shall be in Cush, when the slain shall fall in Mitzrayim, and they shall take away her multitude, and her foundations shall be broken down. Cush and Libya and Ludi and all the mingled people, and Kuv and the men of the land that is in league shall fall with them by the sword. Thus says Yahuwah, They also that uphold Mitzrayim shall fall, and the pride of her power shall come down. From the tower of Cheva'eh, rather Cheva'eh, shall they fall in it by the sword, says Adonai Yahuwah. And they shall be desolate in the midst of the countries that are desolate. And her cities shall be in the midst of the cities that are wasted. And they shall know that I am Yahuwah when I have set a fire in Mitzrayim, and when all her helpers shall be destroyed. In that day shall messengers go forth from me in ships to make the careless Eth Kushim afraid. And great pain shall come upon them, as in the day of Mitzrayim, for lo, it comes. Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, I will also make at the multitude of Mitzrayim to cease by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babel. He and his people with him, the terrible of the nations, shall be brought to destroy the land, and they shall draw their swords against Mitzrayim, rather against Mitzrayim, and fill at the land with the slain. And I will make the rivers dry, and sell at the land into the hand of the wicked. And I will make the land waste, and all that is therein, by the hand of strangers. I, Yahuwah, have spoken it. Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, I will also destroy the idols, and I will cause their images to cease out of Nof. And there shall be no more a prince of the land of Mitzrayim. And I will put a fear in the land of Mitzrayim. And I will make Athpathrok desolate. And will set fire in Soan. And will execute judgments in No. And I will pour my fury upon Sin, the strength of Mitzrayim. And I will cut off Eth the multitude of No. And I will set fire in Mitzrayim. Sain shall have great pain, and No shall be rent asunder, and Nof shall have distresses daily. The young men of Avin and of P. Veseth shall fall by the sword. And these cities shall go into captivity. At Techafenechek also the day shall be darkened, when I shall break thereeth the yokes of Mitzrayim, and the pomp of her strength shall cease in her. As for her, a cloud shall cover her, and her daughters shall go into captivity. Thus will I execute judgments in Mitzrayim. And they shall know that I am Yahuwah. And it came to pass in the eleventh year, in the first month, in the seventh day of the month, that the word of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, Son of Adam, I have broken at the arm of Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, and lo, it shall not be bound up to be healed, to put a roller to bind it, to make it strong, to hold the sword. Therefore, thus says Adonai Yahuwah, Behold, 
I am against Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, and will eth break his arms, eth the strong, and eth that which was broken, and eth I will cause the sword to fall out of his hand, and I will scatter eth the Mitzrim among the nations, and will disperse them through the countries, and I will strengthen eth the arms of the king of Babel, and put eth my sword in his hand, but I will break eth Pharaoh's arms, and he shall groan before him with the groanings of a deadly wounded man. But I will strengthen eth the arms of the king of Babel, and the arms of Pharaoh shall fall down, and they shall know that I am Yahuwah, when I shall put my sword into the hand of the king of Babel and he shall stretch it out upon the land of Mitzrayim. And I will scatter at the Mitzrayim among the nations, and disperse them among the countries, and they shall know that I am Yahweh.